Hi guys, this is going to be a rubber band powered car made from a toilet roll and plastic bottle tops but it's a bit of a reverse build. I've done the build already but the video didn't work out so I have to take it apart slowly and talk you through what I did. So the reason I did this was I bought a bicycle inner tube in Poundland to try it out as a source of rubber bands and to be honest it was hopeless. Um, the rubber, once you've stretched it a bit, it loses its strength. And if you really stretch it, it stays stretched. So it didn't work as a rubber band for catapult launching my aeroplanes. So instead of that, I thought, what else can I do with it? And I thought, how about making rubber tyres for plastic bottle tops? So that's what I did. I cut some strips and put them on bottle tops. The first one I cut quite narrow, so it just went, there's a ridge on this, I think you can probably see. So I did it so it went this side of the ridge. Then the next one I cut a bit wider so it actually went over the ridge. And then the next two I cut wider still so there was a little bit hanging down on both sides to stop it coming off. So that's the wheels, they're ordinary milk bottle tops. I just pushed a hole in the middle and then pushed a barbecue skewer through. Then that's little bits of paper straw just to space them out so the wheels don't rub against the bodywork. Now the back wheels, even with the rubber tyres, they were still slipping, still spinning. So I filled them with plasticine or modelling clay, whatever you want to call it, to give them extra weight. In the middle of the axle, I cut the tip off the barbecue skewer and glued it so we got that T-shape to make it easy to hook the rubber bands on. Again, we got a couple of short lengths of drinking straw there to hold the wheels away from the body. I have to break that one off to get it out now. Oh, that's glued on well. <sighs> got it. Right, so the body is just a toilet roll. I poked the holes through, drew a line first so I made sure I kept them parallel, and measured the gap at the back so the wheel should be parallel front to back and side to side. And then once I'd made the holes, I squirted some super glue on them because that hardens the cardboard, and makes them more durable so they don't stretch when you put the axles on them and tighten up the rubber bands. So that's held them nice and hard there and then I cut a slot just there for the rubber band to go through to hold it at the front and then I tied a knot in the rubber band so that the rubber band goes in the slot and holds itself in place and then that goes down the inside and at the other end you would have hooked it onto that little peg that I put on there. You might find it difficult to get the rubber bands through, so I use another bit of barbecue skewer just to get hold of them so you can pull them out and get them onto the hook. And then that bit of tape there is just to make sure that the rubber band doesn't spring off when it's going along. So there you go, that's a backwards how to build a rubber band powered car out of a cardboard toilet roll. 
And so I used bicycle inner tube as the rubber tyres. And even though it did improve the grip, it still wasn't enough to hold it on the ground and stop the wheels spinning. So filled them out with the modelling clay or, as I say, plasticine is what I've got here. Just see if I can get it out. <laughs> Pull that tyre off. There we go. That's it. Job done in reverse. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.